wake up, wake up Gotta get this paper, get this cake up Gotta do my hair, gotta put on makeup Gotta act like I care about this Hey guys, I'm gonna be doing a favorites video for the month of July And I'm pretty much gonna break up my favorites in sections I'm gonna have a makeup section, a skin and face section Um... Uh, my favorite apps for the month section and then a book that I'm currently reading. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm loving for the month of July is um, the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. Now I used to use the e.l.f. Primer before when it was the silicone kind of primer and I really didn't like that one and it broke me out a lot. So I stopped using that and I pretty much didn't use primer at all. But um, I saw another YouTuber saying how pretty much a primer is a barrier from your face and the foundation and how it's a really good idea to wear a primer. So I decided to kind of get back into wearing primers and I didn't want to buy something too expensive and I didn't really like it and waste my money. So I decided to buy e.l.f. primer and it's the e.l.f. poreless face primer. And I really like this primer. It's not like how the e.l.f. primer used to be. It's in like a cream lotion looking consistency. And the uh, old e.l.f. primer was kind of like a silicone, clear, thick consistency. And I really like this one. And I put it especially like underneath my eyes and my nose and my chin area where I tend to have like big pores. And I really love it. And it feels so smooth when I put my foundation on. My next one is the Max, Max, the Max <laughs> Fix Plus Fluid. And I'm kind of done with this. And this is like the little sample size. And I really, 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 really love this stuff. It's perfect like I cannot put my makeup on and not put this over it I really love this stuff and I have to get more and it just makes your makeup look so much better like it just sets it just all comes together when you put this on and I really love this stuff the Ruby Kisses HD set and forget setting powder and the 16 hour flawless rub proof wear and um, I used to wear the Ben 9 banana powder before and I really didn't like it as much. It was kind of dry and like cakey looking. And so I kind of gave it to a friend and I didn't have a setting powder for the longest time. But um, I was at my local beauty supply and I saw this and I decided to give it a try. And this is awesome. It's nothing like the banana powder. It's light. It's soft. It's smooth when it gets on your face. And it just does not leave your makeup looking white and cakey. And I love this stuff. And it was so cheap and it was so worth the price the NYX HD concealer and I love this to put like underneath my eye or to highlight my forehead my chin and stuff and it's so smooth before I used to use the LA what is it LA girl or LA color um pro HD concealer and it was good but at times it was too thick it was too like chalky in a way and this one is just smooth it's really nice it's like liquid and it comes with the wand so it's easy to apply you don't have to like be squeezing all the time and i really love this and it gives me a really nice finish and i love it for that and the last makeup thing that i have is the kat von d um lipstick in lolita i wanted to get the um, Lolita shade and the lip stain, the Kat Von D lip stain, but it was sold out everywhere that I looked, and I looked numerous times, and I still couldn't find it. Found it. <laughs> I still couldn't find it, and I finally saw it in the lipstick form, and I'm like, why not? And it's what I'm currently wearing on my lips right now, and I love it. It's like the perfect nude for me and it's just like a perfect everyday um, lipstick it's not too much and it's not too little it just adds a little something to your makeup and I love this stuff I also have another Kat Von D lip stain in LUV like the purple kind of color and I love 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 the lip stain so I really wish I could find it um, find Lolita in the lip stain but the lipstick is just perfect as well What I'm loving for this month is the EOS Shave Cream and this brightens an even skin tone, natural shea butter and vitamin B3 and it nourish, nourishes and softens your skin. And I love this stuff um, for like shaving my legs and shaving everywhere else and it leaves your skin feeling super smooth and super nice and I don't know if you've tried other shaving creams before but um, 
it gets all like gunky in your razor and this one just washes away easily and it doesn't get all thick and like ick in your razor while you're shaving and I love this and it leaves your skin so smooth and soft. The next one that I would recommend for also leaving your, your skin smooth and soft is the exfoliating gloves. I got these gloves for a dollar at Forever 21. You could get it other places for more but this one even though it's a dollar, it works just as well as the other ones. Um, and I really recommend these gloves. It's um, so easy. You put it on in the shower like a regular glove. You put your body wash on it. And you pretty much just go and scrub your skin. And it works perfect because you're exfoliating all the dead skin. It leaves your skin feeling so nice and smooth. And it kind of evens your skin tone in a little, um, a little bit too. Because you're getting rid of all the excess dirt and stuff on your skin that you won't normally get. And I really love this glove, and it's only a dollar and Forever 21. You can also get it at Walmart or Target or anywhere else that they sell body care stuff. But this one's a dollar for Forever 21. Yes to um, even skin tone moisturizer. Um, I've used other moisturizers, and I'm pretty much looking for something that like helps with getting rid of like dark spots and like even out my skin tone and stuff. And I started using this one, and it's pretty good. Like, the first time I used it, I noticed a big difference in it. Um, and it's grapefruit, so it smells really good. This one says it corrects and repairs, helps reduce the appearance of dark circles, and it also has SPF 15 in it, too. And it's natural products, and it's paraben-free. So this is really good. It smells good. It feels good on my skin. It moisturizes my skin like it's supposed to, and it's helping what I need it to. So I really like this one. I got this from Walmart. This Alba Botanica Good and Clean Pore Purifying Mini Peel. Now this one is pretty much like a, a mask kind of thing that you leave on your skin for like three to five minutes. And it's supposed to help um, like detox your skin and like open up your pores and clean out your pores and stuff. And I really like this. You put it on, it's like a little tingle on your face for a couple seconds. And you leave it on for like five minutes. I leave it on for five minutes and then I like wash it off with like really cold water. And I really like this. I feel like it cleans out my pores and it leaves my skin feeling nice and smooth and clean. Bio oil. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever heard about bio oil, but bio oil pretty much helps get rid of scars, stretch marks, uneven skin tone, aging skin, and dehydrated skin. Now the reason why I got this was kind of to get rid of, um, get rid of, minimize some of my stretch marks and as you can see it's right here so far and you're supposed to use it for up to three months um twice daily up to three months and during your pregnancy apply it twice from the start of your second trimester i'm not pregnant but <laughs> i love this bio oil it really works um i've seen a huge difference in some of my stretch marks and I know everybody has stretch marks. Can't tell me you don't have stretch marks. Especially if you've gone to prove it you have stretch marks. It's a light oil. It has a light smell. It doesn't feel like, it doesn't make your skin feel oily. And I only use it in like the areas that I need it. I don't use it all over my body. I just use it on like my thighs and stuff. Like where I want to get rid of my stretch marks. And um use my regular lotion all over my the rest of my body but this is really good I love it um I was gonna go with a smaller bottle but I decided to go with the bigger bottle so I'm gonna have to keep buying it over and over and it was the right choice and you could get this from anywhere Walmart Target I got this one though from Ulta so that's it for my skincare and my face. The next I'm going into is hair and I only have one thing for my hair this is hair hope oil and this oil smells divine. It smells so good. And it's mixed with castor oil, avocado oil, and coconut oil. And castor oil pretty much helps grow your hair. At the same time, helps thicken your hair. Um, coconut oil is a light oil, and that helps grow your hair and moisturize your hair. I'm not really sure what avocado oil do, but either way, um, I follow their page on Instagram, and that's where I saw this. And they had like a whole bunch of before and after pictures. And so I decided to give it a try. I bought two. I bought one for me and one for my mom. And it smells super good. When I put this in my hair, my hair smells good for like a week. 
and is the bomb and it's a really light oil it has your hair feeling really soft when you put it in there and i haven't noticed much of a, a growth difference in my hair but i like putting oils in my hair anyways and the fact that this is three different oils in one i really like it and it smells good that's a plus too so for the next one i'm gonna show you guys a book that i've been reading and i found this book at barnes and nobles and i really like it it's called you're already amazing embracing who you are becoming all god created you to be by Haley girth and this book is really good. It's pretty much like like a self-help kind of book, like showing you <clears throat> like the title You're Amazing and telling you um helping ways that you see the positives in yourself. And it has like little self-help kind of like uh, you know, right. Um there was one that I did in here. It was like um let me find it. Show your skills like this one. And I like highlighting in it too, you know, it's a goal and highlight the important parts and this one says find your skills in a five minute activity circle three skills that apply to you and you pretty much go all down the list and you highlight i highlighted listening there's obviously a lot and a lot kind of pertain to me but i picked like the most important ones then if it doesn't list something that you like you could add your own and i put sewing but um then there's another one connecting strength and skills because um, there's a difference between strength and between skills and connecting strength, strengths and skills and you pretty much put your um, strength and skills and connect it in like a little circle over there. So it kind of have activities and stuff as, long, um, as well as reading and you know um, encouraging words like you know you're um, great and stuff like that. <laughs> not that cliche but it has more to it and i really like it and um it's a great read in my opinion so if you're looking for something to read that's a really good book and the author she's like um she's religious obviously she believes in god and so if you believe in god and it's something that you really like you'll really like this book the last two things that i have for you guys is my favorite apps that i'm loving for the month and my first one that I'm really liking is, I've been using this for a couple months now, but um, the Digit app, I don't know if you heard about Digit before, but Digit is pretty much, um, when it loads, Digit is pretty much um, a little online um, saving app. If you ever heard about one of those apps that kind of, you connect with your bank accounts and you, it goes in your bank accounts and takes out like a dollar, two dollars, you know three dollars fifty cents or whatever and it saves it into a separate account that you can't see and you won't be tempted to use it and you really don't you don't notice that they're taking money out but they're taking money out and so far since I've started using digit I've saved over like forty five dollars which is really good it's forty five dollars that I don't even think about using and it's just there when you need it and it's really easy you set it up with your bank account like I said they go in there um once a month twice a month depending on your spending obviously they monitor your spending and how much money you have in there they will not take money out if it's going to cause you to go overdraft or whatever they monitor your bank account monitor your savings and they only take it out when they know you have it to take it out and when they take it out it's not like a drastic amount like 50 dollars or something it's literally like 52 cents a dollar and 52 cents which is nothing you know you might spend that on a cup of coffee easily or something and you might as well save it take it towards a savings account that you could use later on and there's also ways where you could withdraw out of your digit account if you decide like hey i need like 20 extra dollars this month whatever take it out of your digits account and it goes directly to your checking account you could also take money out of your checking account yourself and put it into your digit account. It works by like texting. So you text a digit um, and you say, I want to take out $50 from my checking account into my digit account. And you're like, are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. It takes it out of your account and puts it into your digit, which is really nice. And a good thing about it too is every morning, every morning, digit texts you and it will tell you hey you have 
X amount of money in your account today. Yesterday it was X amount of money. Text Y if you want to know what was the difference or something. But every morning I'll text you your balance for your account in the morning so you know before you start your day you know how much you have in your bank account and all that great stuff. And it's really nice if you're interested in getting digital I'll put the link below and you could go and sign up for it. And my next favorite app that I'm liking also is this Future Points app. Future Points apps is pretty much downloading games. You download games apps onto your phone and you play the game or you run the app for like two minutes and you get points onto your future points and all those points that add up they go towards like different rewards and stuff like you could get um a paypal gift card amazon gift card um starbucks gift card itunes gift card you could also get money to like download other games that um you have to pay for and you could get them for free um pretty much all of that you could also win like ipad mini or um what else Google Play gift cards, Xbox gift cards, and different stuff like that. And, you know, all the points add up. Like, so far, I have 910 points. And you download games like Candy Crush, um, what else? Two Dots or something, a running app, a workout app. And sometimes you really don't know about these apps until you download them. And you're like, oh, I really like this. And you end up keeping them. Otherwise, I usually just download the app, play the game for two minutes like you're supposed to. The points register to your future app account. And, and then I delete it. It's that simple. Like, you could do this while you're bored and literally get, like, a lot of points. Like, so far I have 910 points. And that's pretty good. And it was super easy. Like, I literally did that in, like, an hour. 910 points. So, it's a really... If you're bored, it's a good way for you to get points and then get gift cards. You know, easy, cheap money, whatever. So, yeah, that's my two apps for the month that I'm loving. And that's pretty much the my favorites video for the month of July. And if you guys want to see more favorites video, thumbs up this video. Or comment below what you like to see. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.